uh, I always look up to my father as well as my mother uh, because they work uh, very very hard. Uh, I actually came from a low-income family but I don't feel like as if I came from a low-income family. Uh, my father used to hold three jobs. Uh, he would wake up uh, at around 4.30, 5 o'clock in the morning. Then he would go to his first job where he is a street cleaner. Then after that, uh, he would then proceed to take car market where then he works as a garbage uh, collector before he comes home at around 11, 12, uh, have his lunch, take a short nap and then at 3 p.m. he will go to the Kalang Theatre to work as a security guard. I could actually uh, empathise uh, with uh, many of the low-wage uh, workers. Progressive uh, wage uh, model, basically it is a structure to ensure that uh, we are fair to the workers and they are paid according to the skills, uh, the level of productivity and their job responsibility. When we try to develop the progressive wage uh, model for the cleaning industry, I think it was very, very important that we uh, engage the stakeholders as much as uh, possible. Uh, we need to understand the concern of the service providers, uh, we need to understand the concern of the buyers as well as uh, understand uh, the expectation of the uh, cleaners. Uh, eventually, uh, we managed to uh, come up with a progressive uh, wage model, uh, giving sufficient lead time uh, for the service uh, providers to make the necessary uh, adjustment. Uh, I'm happy to say that uh, when the progressive wage uh, model was launched, uh, we estimated that around 38,000 uh, resident cleaners would actually uh, be impacted and they would see their wages uh, increasing. I do hope that uh, we continue uh, to give uh, every uh, low-wage workers, a family, uh, a sense of hope for a, a better future.